Comparative psychology is the branch of psychology that concerns with the study of animal behavior. This branch investigates the mental processes of different animal species with the majority of research contrast in humans to various other animals. Comparative psychology is often work to develop a deeper understanding of human psychology by studying their evolution, hereditary adaptations, learning, and mating behavior of animals. First, to generalize information to human beings. Purpose of studying animal behavior is in the hope that some of these observations may be generalized to human populations. Historically, animal study has been used to suggest whether certain medication might be safe and appropriate for humans, whether certain surgical procedure might work in humans, and whether certain learning approaches might be useful in classroom. Second, to gain insight into human psychology. As its name suggests, comparative method is the subspecialty area which focuses on comparing the key similarities and differences between human and animal behavior to shed light on developmental and evolutionary processes. Some theories that had been discovered are classical conditioning, operant conditioning, imprinting, and social and emotional attachment. Scientists study animals when there is no alternative and it is impractical or unethical to study humans. Animals are good research subjects for a variety of reasons. First, they are biologically similar to humans and susceptible to many of the same health problems. Also, they have short life cycles so they can easily be studied throughout their whole lifespan or across several generations. In addition, scientists can control the environments around the animals such as their diets, the temperature, and the lighting, which will be difficult to do with humans. However, the most important reason why animals are used is that it would be wrong to deliberately expose human beings to health risks in order to observe the cause of a disease. Countless different species of animal has been studied in the name of science, although in some respect we are like other species, but in some others we are not. For example, humans have a much more sophisticated intelligence than other species and much more of our behavior is the outcome of a conscious decisions than the product of instinct or drive. Also, humans are unlike all other species in that we are the only animals to have developed language. With other animals, communicate using signs. We use symbols and our language enable us to communicate about past and future events as well as about abstract idea. Just like what I'm doing right now. Other than that, many people will accuse that experimenting on animals is completely unethical. At least, human subjects can give or will hold their consent. But the animals used in the some pretty awful experiment did not have the choice. I'm a little tipsy. I think also, what have we gained from all of the suffering we have inflicted on these other species? Critics argue that most of the results are not worth having and at the end, do not justify the means. The general opinion is that animals have a moral status and that our treatment of them should be subject to ethical considerations. Such views are reflected in the following positions. The three R's, replace, reduce and refine, are established principles that are also entering in legislations.
While comparative psychology remains a widespread and dynamic field, the focus still remains on the study of animals other than human beings. While a more cohesive and disciplined approach failed to catch on, the greater freedom has allowed for scientists to make breathtaking discoveries. After all, each new discovery adds to the wealth of knowledge that the world of psychology is uncovering for the world.